hi guys and welcome back to precious diaries and if it's your first time hi welcome um here on this channel we're all about personal development and embracing all that we're created to be if this is your kind of vibe please do stick around and without further ado let's get right into today's video So today I'm going to talk about five different ways that you can get your life together in 2023 if you're the kind of person like throughout the years you were struggling to get your life together you know or you managed to do it like for like a month or two and then everything else just falls apart you like feel like as if like there's no direction in your life or you just don't have a routine or basically your life is just out of control and unorganized today i'm just gonna share like five tips that can help you to do that this year and stick to your routines or stick to that whatever vision that you have for your life the first point is that stop the self-doubt and start believing in yourself more honestly if you don't believe in yourself nobody else will believe in you believe that you have the power and the capabilities to create the life that you want for yourself believe that you have whatever it takes to accomplish your goals to be the best version of yourself and also if you feel like you're doubting yourself you know start making a, li a list of things that you've accomplished and then, then you realize that you know what you're doing good start to appreciate the little things that you do you know celebrate the small wins don't be there focusing on the big stuff that oh no i haven't achieved anything major in my life let go of that and focus on the little wins that you make daily if literally you woke up at 5 a.m for like the whole week that's a win i mean like a win is a win so be patient with yourself and stop doubting yourself and start believing in yourself more because when you do that other people will also believe in you too they'll also believe in your skills because you believe in yourself everything must start from within and the second point is that focus on what you need this year focus on the things that will benefit your life this year if you need to have a morning routine then start focusing on that having a routine if you need to have a vision board so that you're able to see it every day and help you accomplish the goals that you have for this year, that's what you do if you have to let go of, of certain habits in order for you to get to where you want to be you do that but then focus on what you need and not what you want because the things that you need most of the times is the things that we don't want to do if this year in order for you to have the life that you want you have to start saving more then that's what you start doing don't do it because oh oh no it feels good to do it do it because you need to do it it is a need it is something that will better your life and if you start feeling as if oh no i can't do this anymore remember your why remember why you need to do this because the if you focus on the important stuff you focus on what you need to do you keep on being consistent and you have the discipline literally you will change your life in no time literally the life that you're living right now it can really look totally different remember that if life can change in a split second so trust that things can go from bad to worse for you in a split second things can go also like the other way around from worse, from good to the worst so make sure that you give your best and you do what you need to do and the third point is that be honest with yourself if there's one person in life you should always be honest to is yourself you can fool the whole world but then be honest with yourself because if you're being dishonest with yourself you're gonna end up living in this illusion thinking that oh no you you have certain things that you don't have you have certain qualities that you you don't have you get it so Focus on being honest with yourself. Have the conversation with yourself. You know, be in tune with your emotions. Don't lie to yourself. Don't be somebody that you're not, you know, because the moment you accept who you truly are and you're honest with, this is me, this is precious, this is what I like, this is what I'm good at, this is what I struggle in, it'll help you to be 
in a level that you never thought you'd ever be in your life. You'd be able to achieve things that you never thought you'd achieve in your life because you know what you're capable of. You know what you struggle with. So it will be easier for you to um, deal with certain areas that um, are hindering you, certain areas that you're struggling with because you're being honest with yourself. You're not there fooling yourself that, oh, oh no, I'm good at this. I can do it. You know, I'm precious. I can do whatever that I want to do. And then it turns out, oh no, you're not so good because, oh no, you don't give yourself the chance and the opportunity to better this so now you think that oh no you can make things happen in a split second meanwhile you don't even have the skills to do that so be honest with yourself so that you can be the best version of yourself and become the precious that you can be proud of or whoever you are i'm just here all in my feelings and talk about me okay the fourth point is that don't waste time on things that don't add value to your life if something is not working let it go try a new way don't be holding on to a specific method or a specific way of living life because oh no this is how i've been living my life be open to change because literally change makes us uncomfortable and growth only comes when we're in uncomfortable spaces if you're in a comfortable space in a comfortable space you cannot grow so in order for you to grow and bring more value to your life you know don't waste time doing things in the same way because oh no you've done it this way and now you can see it's not adding value but you still want to keep on doing the same thing be willing to let go of things that are no longer beneficial for you understand that certain things are seasonal it's not that they're supposed to be there for your whole entire life accept that the season is over for this particular way of doing something the season is over for being in this particular relationship or whatever it is the season is over for this business the season is over for this chapter of my life you get it and let it go and start something new and embrace the change and keep on moving and growing because the only way we get better in life is if we are willing to change and the last point is that take motivated action when i say take motivated action i mean that know your why and understand why you are doing what you are doing know why you have to um, wake up at 5 a.m know why that you have to invest in reading self-help books know why you have to save 200 rands every every week or every month know why you are doing something because that will keep you going when you feel as if you can't do it anymore that is why I'm saying that have a motivated action. Have motivated action because it will keep you going. Because if you're motivated to do something daily, you are, it's hardly unlikely for you to it's highly unlikely for you to like um give up along the way. You're gonna keep on going, even though it's hard because you are motivated, you know why you have to do this. So take motivated action. And the bonus point is that be patient in everything that you do and be patient with yourself don't expect things to change overnight they say that it takes like 20 20 what i think it's 21 days to build a habit and be consistent so be patient with yourself allow yourself to make the mistakes and learn from your mistakes and also learn to pace yourself in everything that you're doing don't expect things to change overnight but pace yourself and go slowly if you rush something then it probably won't be as good as if you just gave yourself time and dedication to actually do it remember that Rome wasn't built in a day you see and i guess that was my quote for the year is that Rome wasn't built in a day like it's to remind myself that i need to be patient with myself that i need to build the foundation for my life and build slowly so that i don't get um frustrated if things don't go my way because sometimes we expect things to happen overnight just because you put a car in your vision board so you think that oh no it's going to happen this year what if it doesn't happen for some of us there's certain things that we put in our vision boards year after year and it only happened recently but then it's that if something doesn't happen in the first year don't stop believing don't stop working towards it keep on going keep on pushing it will eventually happen you can put something in a vision board and then year after year and it happens after five years or six years but then things come when you are actually ready for them and also don't put visions and things that you know that you're not ready to handle if you're not ready to handle whatever that you want you need to prepare yourself 
for in preparation is important you can't expect yourself to have a car but then you don't know anything about cars you don't know about the maintenance of the car you don't know if you're going to be able to handle it fin financially because imagine having a car and then you're not even planning on having the car insurance you're not planning to have an emergency fund for if the car breaks down or something or imagine having a car you don't even know how you're going to afford um buying petrol daily for the car you see so make sure that you prepare yourself for whatever that you want whatever that you're praying for and also be patient with yourself don't expect yourself to change overnight don't expect things to change overnight yes like i said before that life can change in a split second but then um even if that doesn't happen still be patient with yourself and we have reached to the end of today's video please do comment down below what you thought of this video and what are your plans for this year and thank you so much for watching this video please do like subscribe and share this video until we meet again next time